let me now uh, try to answer the following question how does biomass co firing influences the energy efficiency of the plant because sometimes we ask ourselves this question and let me try to answer this question in a more uh, quantitative way so uh, how it really uh, comes in numbers when we compare co-firing and, and uh, combustion only coal and also combustion only biomass. So let's try now uh, to, uh, to summarize a little what happens when biomass is added to the base fuel. So we have two groups of issues. First uh, group is combustion related issues. Uh, I mean the situation with, which happens inside the boiler or loco, loco boiler. So we have the situation that the moisture content of the fuel blend changes. So the, the consequence is that the fuel blend calorific value uh, also ch changes. And the, the consequence is again that the flue gas flow volume changes as we have already uh, told about that. And the, the combustion temperature changes because we have more, uh, more water in the fuel and uh, so so uh, so we have uh, uh, more moist fuel and we have uh, the higher flue gas flow and 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 uh, changed combustion temperature and also if if, uh, if uh, the particles of biomass are uh, larger than the particles of the coal so they maybe they cannot be combusted in uh, totally so we have uh, still unburned carbon content in the in the ash in the fly ash so the loss of ignition is uh, higher comparing to the coal uh, combustion so the loy may increase and another group of things are the um, things related to the auxiliaries so the extra elements uh, which should be considered local plant maybe not 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 related to the boiler directly to to uh, the combustion issues so uh, the biomass handling needs extra power because when we add the biomass handling systems so we have to use extra electricity so we have this extra uh, consumption then uh, we uh, use extra extra force to mill the coal and biomass mixture so again we need the extra power and as it already has been mentioned, the induced draft fan load and the, the electricity consumption to drive this uh, fan changes. And the combustion air fan load and electricity uh, consumption changes. So again, the, the, we have directly uh, more consumption of electricity. So uh, uh, in my opinion, we should analyze both of these aspects and uh, I will try to do that separately. First, the change of the boiler energy efficiency and then change the uh, uh, coefficient of auxiliary electricity consumption. And we can use uh, two different uh, coefficients to, to, to evaluate that. The first, we will try to assess the efficiency the energy of efficiency of the boiler so it's e letter stands for uh, energy efficiency and b is the boiler and the reference case when we uh, combust only coal and the other case uh, when we use uh, the biomass so cough means co-firing so these two uh, efficiencies will be used and also here when we uh, will consider the uh, auxiliary consumption we uh, take this uh, epsilon uh, for uh, electricity consumption coefficient in the reference case when we uh, combust only coal and in the second case when we uh, add the bi biomass and we perform the biomass co-firing so these two scenarios first number one another one number two and these two scenarios should be applied for uh, again two different uh, situations first situation is when we co-fire um, the biomass with the hard coal this is the represent the, the representation of the hard coal and we co-fire with the lignite because in uh, in poland and also in, in european uh, plants um, we can have uh, two situations the, this uh, as a base um, the coal plants can use the hard coal or the steam coal as it's sometimes uh, used this term and also they can be uh, fired with the lignite so we expect that maybe there will be some differences in these two scenarios 
and then we call it scenario A for the hard coal and scenario B for the ligna. And uh, to answer these questions, what happens in these uh, four, together on four, four different scenarios, so the combinations of four different uh, 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 variants, we used the input data which we gathered in our experience, in our industrial testings, when we used 20, uh, 12 different biomass sorts, the pellets, raw biomass, the woody biomass, and the, the, the biomass as residues from the, 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 the agriculture and also from the food processing in industry. And we uh, tested uh, six uh, different types of the boilers, the pulverized coal and also um, uh, and also uh, different uh, different outputs of these boilers, uh, smaller scale and the larger scale and different uh, configurations. And altogether we performed uh, a little around 120 single replant experiments. So we gathered quite a lot of different uh, pilot uh, scale uh, testing data. And when we analyzed this data altogether, we worked out the empirical correlations. Mm, and uh, let me share the conclusions. So first, when we take the um, scenario 1A, so we uh, combust the, uh, the biomass with the hard coal, uh, and scenario 1B, when we combust the biomass uh, with the lignite, and we take a deep look into the efficiency of the boiler. So uh, the situation is, I would say, uh, opposite in these uh, two cases. And uh, in the horizontal lines, you can see the biomass share. But this time, it's not the mass share, it's the energy share. I will later on show how to recalculate the energy share into mass share or the other way around. Uh, so we have biomass share in the, in the, in the fuel blend. And here, these are the, the, this is the, the efficiency of the, the energy efficiency of the boiler while co-firing divided by the efficiency of the boiler when uh, combusting only coal. So these coefficients are divided uh, one by one in these uh, two, uh, in these two graphs the, the, on, the, on the vertical line, we have the same, the same uh, um, uh, configurations. And look what's going on here when we uh, take the hard coal. Let, let me ask you for something. So it, it means that, for example, for uh, burning coal, when we have 15% of share of the biomass, we can expect that the uh, efficiency of the boiler will rise by 80%. Uh, that's the that's the that's the efficiency of the co-firing, and that's the efficiency of the of the of the um, uh, who, uh, when we combust only yes. coal. So when we are here, nothing changes. Yes, and when we go up there, we ob we observe that there is a yes. change, and there is a change in the and and there is a change with the efficiency. So it's actually increasing not dramatically. Uh, but uh, I would say uh, more interesting is that, uh, yeah, well, yes, but more interesting is why it goes yeah. like this. So it, why it goes like the parable. Uh, mm, I would say uh, it's, uh, we found the, the following explanation here. When we, uh, when we, uh, when you, uh, when you are adding the biomass up to 15% on a, on a, on the energy share, then your efficiency uh, goes down your efficiency goes down but when you reach the let's say the critical point here and the efficiency uh, starts to behave in the other way why 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 it's like that uh, it's because it's because your uh, your installations here uh, your installations here uh, are not able to co-fire uh, more, uh, more and more biomass. So uh, the system responses in the lower efficiency. The lower efficiency here and uh, means that there is more and more biomass and more and more biomass that gives you the, the effect that 
your your boiler is not is it is not operating well so the energy input in in the boiler is uh, is changing so that's why that's why when you take this actually uh two uh two percentages and two percentages here it behaves like this so the crucial is let's say this 15 percent on the energy share uh i would say uh there's it 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 can be said that it's a strange but that's that's what we have found and the the comparison with the lignite is different so uh it's like it's you can easily Im imagine why it's different here because in the in the um, in this situation when you add to the coal when you add the biomass you add the worse fuel to the to the to the uh, to the uh, to the better fuel the coal is better fuel the hard coal or the steam coal is a better fuel than the than the um, than the than the biomass and here when you have the lignite in most of the cases the polish lignites uh, have the lower have the lower uh, lower heating value than the biomass which is added so in this case the biomass is the is the better fuel in terms of lhav than the coal so the 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 situation is uh, is the opposite and let's let's uh, yeah if you want to to dig more in these issues uh, uh, there is a, there is a book which gives more information on that uh, you can you can you you can dig uh, uh, in uh, more details uh, let's now let's now have a look uh, in the same situations in the same scenarios so again we have the hard coal a and we have the lignite and the b and the situation is similar but this time we uh, observe not the not the uh, efficiency not the energy efficiency but we observe the coefficients of uh, electricity uh, consumption by the auxiliaries and again the the symbols are the same uh, mm, reference the co-firing case and the reference case the co-firing case and the reference case and uh, when you again add the biomass to the co-firing then your uh, your uh, your uh, your share, your uh, efficiency uh, goes down uh, your uh, consumption goes down and when you uh, go up it's the opposite it's the opposite way so that maybe the one thing which should be remembered is that that we have two opposite two opposite uh, two opposite uh, let's say behaviors of biomass and 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 add it to the lignite or add it to the hardcore yes and this is just a table to recalculate the to recalculate the the energy share to the mass share and when you uh, this is actually depending on the um, LH, uh, lhv of the base fuel divided to the lhv for the biomass and here you have the energy share and here you have the mass share so if you want to recalculate from the energy share of the given uh, value uh, for such uh, such uh, 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 coefficient of this uh, coal lhav to the biomass lhav you can find the number here of course it, it depends how much your uh, coal is better than the biomass in terms of LH, LH, uh, LHV. Uh, here you have the, the 10 percent more uh, the, the coal to biomass here you have the 20 and the responding values are presented here. Uh, okay so it is just just uh, just uh, just for the help to to show the just for the help to show the the, the or to recalculate the energy shares yeah this is the just the explanation if the lhav uh, of the base fuel is uh, the 20 percent more the energy share is 15 and the mass share is a little more than 21 percent it's just when you want to recalculate the simple calculate yeah that's this number let me then uh, draw some some conclusions 
Uh, so when we have the biomass addition, we influence the co-firing boiler energy efficiency and its electric auxiliary needs. And the effects are opposite when we are co-firing the biomass with the hard coal and lignite, uh, which is the low rank coal. Uh, it can be performed not only with the steam, steam coal, the hard coal, but also with the lignite due to generally worse in case of, lign of, of, of coal and better in terms of li lignite, the parameters of biomass comparing to these base fuels. Also, these effects are not only depending on uh, what kind of fuel you, are, you use as a base fuel, you are uh, like the coal or the lignite, but these effects also are influenced the properties of the biomass in terms of if it's a raw or it has been pelletized or maybe it, it has been dried. Uh, what we have found uh, looking at the biomass uh, combustion fluidized boilers that the, generally the fluidized boilers are uh, more convenient, let's say it in this verse, for, for the higher share of biomass, they are less sensitive. Also, they require more sophisticated boiler and fuel handling control systems comparing to the pulverized coal. This, this is what we have observed. And uh, also improving the properties of biomass in terms of the grindability as, uh, as as Janusz Lasek has already said, when we apply the torrefaction, then the, the biomass parameters can be improved uh, in terms of the grinding. We use the less grinding or at the same time where we implement some dedicated biomass routes. So instead of the balmies, which are normally used for the coal, uh, coal uh, milling in coal, uh, coal only plants, we apply hammer mills. This, uh, we have uh, some biomass combustion plants in Poland when we apply hammer mills. And that's the way to minimize the boiler energy efficiency losses. And uh, you can say that generally uh, co-firing the biomass with the coal may record in the no loss of boiler efficiency when we ad adjust the combustion output for the new fuel mixture, especially for the shares which don't exceed 10% mass. Of course, the situation is different when you do the trial testing so you just add the biomass to the coal and then you combust it so you have not prepared installations your mills uh, behave in the same way as they behaved when the coal milling your transportation systems behave at the same way your boiler responses at the same way so uh, it can behave very strange and the efficiency may go down very strongly but when you optimize it when you uh, adjust your combustion when you adjust the the uh, in injection of the water to the steam when you optimize the boiler uh, then it's even possible for the boiler to combust 10 percent mass of the biomass and no efficiency could be observed so uh, there is a real uh, that there, there is really a, a a big change when you do the trial testing and then after some optimization when you combust the same share so you can really optimize it in a in a in a very dramatic let's say way and combust the biomass with the 10 percent of the mass and no efficiency loss can can be observed uh, but you have to work out quite a lot on your boiler behavior on your milling uh, to implement new new procedures in the mills in the boilers, uh, especially in the side of the of the steam. Yes, and uh, also um, uh, when you compare the biomass combustion to power plants, which are burning hundred percent of the biomass, sometimes you can ask the question: uh, Is it better to co-fire the biomass, or maybe is it better to combust only biomass? is where the total energy conversion efficiency is higher where the where it's more effective in terms of electricity generation for co-firing or for 100 percent combustion with what what route is better which gives the better efficiency 